Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It is Monday. That means it's market outlook time. We're going to take a look at this week leading up to the beginning of the promo that we've been waiting for for a couple weeks now. One of the most exciting promos of the year, team of the season. Of course, we've got the car design. We have the loading screens. We got the vote live for the community tots, which will be squad number one. And the market's down bad. People have sold cars. They got their coins ready. They're prepared for this promo. And I think this week there's going to be a few things that we can see from EA Sports and maybe expect from them to um, to do before we have team of the season actually starting. So I'm going to talk about the market, how I'm feeling about that. Prices are lower than they have ever been before on a lot of these cards. It's ridiculous. You can see that I have no coins right now, and that's because I am trying some flips. Because some of these cards have just gotten so low with panic selling especially that low to mid tier. As we talked about yesterday, the low to mid tier got absolutely destroyed again. Some of the high tier stuff actually was higher yesterday on Sunday than it was on Saturday. Like Bruno team of the year is prime example. Number one, he was down at 1.85 million coins on Saturday. He has now since rebounded up. He's almost to like 2.1. So he's rebounded up almost 200,000 coins. Uh, this card, I think he's right around 2 million coins right now. Uh, but yeah, so this, this card is up almost 150K from where he was at his absolute lowest. Some of this high tier stuff, uh, team of the year Ronaldo as well. This guy was down at 5.3, 5.4 at his absolute lowest. And I believe right now he's actually inching towards 5.6 mil, 5.529. And that was literally just listed. Where's the next one at? Maybe like 5.6 or 5.7. So some of these prices have rebounded back up a little bit because I think people saw them and they said, hey, this might be too cheap. But the mid tier part of the market is still getting absolutely wrecked as we're heading into this Monday morning time frame. And I still think you're going to have potential to make some coins in this market. I've got coins right now or cards right now on my transfer list of stuff that was just panic sold way too much today. And of course, when people don't buy, uh, there's plenty of options for flipping. This mid, this baby sedan was 1.3 million coins earlier this weekend. Now, I'm not saying this card's going to go back up to 1.3 million coins, but I bought two Zidans today at right around the 1.05 range. I thought that was just ridiculously cheap. I bought an Mbappe today, 290,000 coins, because this is still one of the best cards in the game. I cannot believe this card has almost dropped 50% from where he was not even like over a week and a half ago. He was over like 500,000 coins literally on April 10th. And this guy right now is 290K. So I thought the 317, 320 was too low for this last night. And he went down another 20K today, which is ridiculous. So that card is right there. I'm going to keep relisting these because I am flipping some of those. But that's the thing you see with this market right now where you can make some coins. And as we're heading into this, this day on Monday in the first couple of days of this week, you're going to see the panic selling stop on a lot of these cards. Ben Yedder headliner was 500,000 coins, which was down a lot already earlier this week. He is now down to 430, 440,000 coins. I think that one right there might have gotten bought, but he's bouncing back up. And that's the, the fluctuation that you're seeing a lot. Usman Dembele was down at 400K flat. I believe he is now back up to like 440, 437 to 440. So you have fluctuations like this happening all the time. Mane was around 800,000 coins all day. He has now dropped down at 700,000 coins, a couple undercuts under 700K. I'm looking back here. I see one overnight at 750. This Mane card is probably going to dry up a little bit. This got bought at 700K flat. So, you know, some of this stuff is just going to get too cheap and it is going to rebound back. So that's 100% what I'm watching. I also have a George Best in my team that I bought at 1.3 mil. Some of these cards I do, I just do think are gonna, they're gonna rebound back a little bit because the panic selling was just too much and you're gonna see them bounce back because they're rare cards. So that's kind of the stuff that I'm trying to flip right now. Now, of course, that could be all entirely ruined today if EA Sports dropped some sort of big time content. I do still think EA has one or two more things up their sleeve this week for content that could make people panic sell um, fodder or, you know, any tradable cards they have in their team. Of course, right now, if you think about people in this game, so many people have sold their teams. They have their coins liquid and they haven't really bought too much because they know what is coming. A lot of people are ready for team of the season. They want the new cards and they also know that prices are low. And A, I think it's going to cause the market to rebound back up a little bit this week because everybody's sold. They've got coins. They're going to see the low prices and they're not going to be able to withstand not buying a card like this Yetter who was 800,000 coins last week and is now 400K. That's ridiculous, right? People are going to see that and say, I'm going to buy that. That's going to be too cheap. Uh, but also, I think EA has an opportunity to release 
one or two more coin sucking SBCs this week that would take more coins off of this market. Now, of course, we have the prime icon upgrade that is still available. We've got the 83 times 10, which I have not done yet. Uh, and then we had brand new icon player SBCs yesterday. Now, of course, if we talk about these for a quick second, these are overpriced in my opinion, but I understand why they are from EA's perspective. We have team of the season coming up. You know, we're going to have tons of players in the 90 plus ratings that people are going to be packing from guaranteed TOTS SBCs, packing from save packs, upgrade packs, and all that stuff. They know these SBCs are going to be easier to complete. So that's why, in my opinion, they price them. Um, they priced them basically for if these cards were at their price on the market about a month ago when Dog Leash was over 2 million coins, when Essien was like 1.8 mil, and when Del Piero was still around a mil or 1.1 mil, then these prices for these SBCs would make sense. But now Del Piero today was under 700,000 coins on the market, and this SBC is almost 800k to complete. Now, fodder is dropping because there was these SBCs don't have enough demand for those fodder investors to see their cards rise. So a lot of people sold today, and we'll talk about that too. Um, but I honestly just, I, we can see right through EA here because they're going to make you take and spend a little bit more during team of the season. If you're trying to craft these by making these SBCs a little bit more expensive, I think all three of these right now are at the same price or more expensive than the actual market value of the card. To, if you would go and buy that card tradable off the market, which is not the way these SBCs should B. But I think that one big SBC that people were waiting for and the reason why fodder went down yesterday is because people were waiting for that moments icon upgrade, which is what we've been talking about a little bit. And that is an SBC that EA have in their arsenal that is in the code that they could release at any time. Uh, and that would make things pretty interesting. I think that is the one piece of content this week that would make people sell any tradable cards that are left in people's teams right now, that would make people go and sell those because they would want to go do that Icon Moments upgrade if it were to be released. Now, since we didn't get that SBC yesterday on Sunday, you're seeing a lot of these higher rated fodder cards get sold off because people had been holding these, holding out for more uh, Icon upgrades and stuff like that. Now, of course, Neuer was 56K. He went up to like 60K, 62K on the day where the Prime Icon was released. And then over the weekend since then, we haven't had any more big SBCs. And check out this drop off. He goes from 57,000 coins yesterday at the content drop. And right now he is 54,000 coins. He's 53K a little bit earlier. So three to 4K drop offs on some of these 89 rated cards is a pretty big drop off when you have, you know, 20, 30, 40 of these sitting on your transfer list. Oblock was like 83, 84K this morning. He's down to 75,000 coins. So big drop offs on those cards as well. And that's interesting to see uh, that so many people are selling their fodder now heading into team this season. There's just so many people in this game that don't feel comfortable right now having anything in their clubs tradable. They just want to rock untradable teams. Uh, they don't want to be invested and they want to have their coins ready for team this season because of course the market just keeps dropping and keeps dropping. And that for me makes me feel like we are going to hit the rebound very, very soon. And that's why I feel pretty strongly about some prices bouncing back from their absolute lows into the week this week. Now, again, like this Ansu Fati was 900K flat earlier today. He rebounded back to a, ooh, 908. Is that actually sitting? Man, if I had coins right now, I'd get very interested in that because this card swings like crazy. There's one overnight at 950, um, but this guy swings a bunch. So that's a very interesting fluctuation to see right there. I bought two Varans tonight at 400,000 coins apiece, knowing that I should be able to get 430 to 440. Looks like he's actually more like 440 to 450. Uh, looks like he's still going through a little bit of a period of panic selling right now. But overnight, we've got one listing at 455. So I think that I should be good on some of this stuff as it just gets rare and bounces back a little bit. I'm not saying there's going to be a lot of demand on the market, but purely just the absence of people selling off those cards because there's no more weekend league to be played. People have finished their games once we get to Monday morning. And, you know, people are not selling those cards anymore out of their clubs. So uh, it's kind of like flipping a switch and we are, there's not going to be as much supply and, you know, little by little cards are going to come off the market. People are just going to be waiting for the promo to come out later this week anyway. And I think that's why you're going to see the market basically just start to lift up a little bit, not a lot. And also people are going to see this stuff as crazy low and start buying it, especially if we don't get a lot of content. Now, other content we could see this week. It's not a Champions League week, so we're, of course we don't have those games going on. And of course, there's a lot of talk going on right now about what in the world is going to go down with the Champions League, of course, with the European Super League that has been 
released yesterday, which I think the whole entire world of football right now is just in shock and unsure what's going to be going on um, with all of that. So I'm not here to really talk about that too much today because we focus on FIFA here, but that's obviously a huge, huge topic of information right now. It's affecting the market a little bit, and we will mention that, but there is no Champions League or Europa League this week, of course, so nothing midweek going on there. We do have some midweek league games to kind of look out for and watch for, um, maybe for some headliner cards, wants to watch, whatever, but none of that going on. I think that EA, I think an 85 times 5 pack is going to come this week. Now, that's a very specific guess, but we've had the 83 times 10. I feel like one or two more packs like this that EA is going to gift us and say, hey, put this in your club for team of the season. They've already done it twice now with the uh, 83 times 10. And also there was one other one. The, oh, these challenge SBCs. They keep giving us these challenge SBCs. Um, for the premium players packs, of course, there are objectives that are available too if you want to get involved with any of that. Um, and then we did have Aguero. So maybe one more moments or a flashback SBC could potentially come this week as a small SBC as a coin suck. Uh, if we don't get a moments icon upgrade today on Monday, I don't think that they're going to be releasing one before team of the season comes out because I think that would be an SBC they would want to give people a couple days to complete and to quote unquote craft uh, before TOTS would actually come out. So I'm really not sure about how, if that SBC is going to be uh, released this week, and especially after seeing the panic selling on the fodder yesterday, it really makes it seem like other people in this game aren't seeing that either. But again, the stuff that's going on this week with the actual team of the season promo, we have a new loading screen every single day. Yesterday, they updated us with all the leagues that are going to be a part of team of the season. Not really any surprise there. I'm not sure if Last year, I think on the Monday, they released a loading screen that showed all the leagues and it kind of had them in order. So that might be something we see if they kind of, you know, show us some sort of order for the leagues on the loading screen. And I'm not sure what else they would release on a loading screen this week. I'm really curious to see if they keep updating it on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, because I really don't feel like until Thursday, because this voting ends Thursday in the morning. And of course, they're going to know what some cards are going to be like guaranteed to be in this promo um, and of course from the voting and stuff like that but last chance to vote because a lot of this voting does end on Thursday and this is kind of what's going on right now again we're really curious to see what's going to happen with community tots because there's only 11 players that we're voting for not an entire 23 or even an 18 at that so very curious to see how this team of 11 players pans out and then if they just take the next you know seven players or however many 12 players uh, that were, you know, close to getting in. I really just hope they don't release teams of 11 for team this season because that would be super dead EA Sports. I mean, I hope you're listening. And I hope you know that it needs to be a full team bench and reserves, in my opinion, for it to be a legit team of the season because if it's only 11 players, that is going to be a problem. Anyways, um, yeah, content this week, I'm really not expecting too much. It's kind of up to EA to say, do they really want to drain the more coins off this game? It's been pretty quiet lately, but that kind of makes sense uh, also because EA wants us to speculate. They want, they want us to look at concept cards that people create on different social media platforms about the new team of season cards. They want to build that hype with the loading screens. And, you know, not really centralize the hype around the content they're going to release, but kind of centralize that around the loading screen. So that really makes sense to me. Now, I want to talk about one thing related to the European Super League that is actually happening and taking place on the market right now. And that is some of these road to the final cards are dropping. Now, of course, the news has been floating around, you know, rumors not 100% confirmed about clubs being removed from competitions and all that jazz. So, of course, Champions League and Europa League have been in that conversation. Uh, this Varane card was down at 1.29 just a little bit ago, and it looks like he's rebounded back up a little bit. So people who are, I guess, panic selling this card because they thought the Champions League was going to be over based on those rumors, uh, you're seeing a little bit of a bounce back on this item right now. I think I saw that, like... Um, Road to the final, Eden Hazard was down a little bit too. Now, if you want to start to make some, you know, very particular and specific investments, because people are thinking that Valverde is going to win the vote and be one of the cards that gets into the community tots. And people are saying, hey, buy up this Hazard because he links to him, right? That's not a bad shout. I think this card at 530K is really cheap. I would just warn you to be careful because again, we don't know what's happening this week. We're not sure what EA is going to do with team this season. Um, and, you know, making a speculative shout and a play that far ahead of time 
is a little bit risky, but that could be something you do this week, right? A lot of French players in that vote. And Dombele could very easily win and get a spot in community team this season. You've got Areola, the goalkeeper with French links. You've got um, Nkunku could possibly in there. You've got Digne. Uh, and there was another uh, French, I forget who it was. I think there was another French card that was a midfielder that I thought had a pretty high chance. Oh, Zuma, the defender. I think Zuma could potentially get in as a part of the Tots most... Um, I keep saying most consistent is the community vote. So those French links, if Mukiele gets in as well, those could be pretty good as cards that maybe would rise on Friday when this stuff would release. So it's honestly a very interesting week. It's going to be a quiet week because uh, it's all about the content that EA release until we get to Friday because all of the eyes of people on this game are on Friday. There might be a little bit of grinding this week, maybe an objective or something uh, for some more packs that they would put out um, to kind of give us something before we actually get to team of the season. But of course, you've got the League One, Serie A, Premier League players packs here, the Prime players packs, and we've had the SBCs for League One as well. So probably like a Premier League SBC come this week, you know, maybe a La Liga uh, objective for these Prime players packs as well. So if you really want to grind squad battles, be my guest if you really want an untradeable pack. So that's kind of there if you really, really want to go and grind that. But honestly boys this week if you want to make some coins let's talk about this too at the end here because i know a lot of you guys are still wanting to know how you can trade the more rare the card is the better this pogba today fluctuated from 400,000 coins all the way up to 430k where he had some sales he's 380 right now that is pretty cheap for this pogba card um obviously he just got that fresh upgrade he got the 80 pace so i'm kind of interested in cards like this ultra rare also meta and in-demand cards would be something I would keep an eye on this week. Open bids are going to be your best friend, whether it is on icons, whether it is on special cards, whether it is on literally anything. Open bids are going to be your best friend because, again, the market's going to be pretty tired this week from all the selling that has been out there. And people aren't going to want to, you know, spend a lot of time grinding the market. I don't think they're not going to be bidding and trying to make a lot of deals. People are just waiting for a team of the season. So if you do want to make some coins this week, I think there's going to be potential. Uh, for you to be able to do that in a very big way if you get on some of those bids and if you time the fluctuations correctly because there's going to be a lot of fluctuations. People are going to buy up the meta cards, um, the cards that get rare. Like I was just, I think, I don't know if I showed you guys this on, on this video recording. We were talking about it on stream, but this Ben Yetter headliner card uh, was 500,000 coins selling easily earlier today. He has dropped all the way down to 430K. Now he just rebounded back up to 470, but you can see, right, at 500K, there's a decent amount of cards here. So you see a fluctuation like that. You see a couple open bids and boom, you have a potential for a flip. That's why I bought this Alan St. Maximin at 250. He was fluctuating down, sold him for 280, right? Very in-demand card, good links, hyped up. And of course, has other informs, so the potential for lazies is there, and uh, that's why that's what I'm going to be trading with this week in FIFA Ultimate Team. So that's kind of one thing to keep an eye out for these rare cards. Like this Rashford was down at 350. I don't know if he's any lower than that right now, uh, but this of course has the Manchester United links. It's really important to look at the rarity and of course the listings overnight. Whether you're trading with icons or special cards right now, um, like this Ansu Fati sold at 908, and you saw me check past the 59th minute to see how many overnights that he had. And he had one overnight at 950, which was a little bit of, not a red flag, but just something that if I was gonna buy this card, I obviously needed to go closer up to like 980K for me to wanna make profit on. So that's why I'm watching this George Best as well. I've got overnights around 1.42, I think is where the overnight is right here. Yeah, 1.42. And he's got a buy now of 135. So the one that I have that's in my team right now that I'm using in Weekend League, uh, I'm going to try to get that out, hopefully for like 145. Uh, but I need some of that panic to kind of subside, um, especially on like a Mane Freeze like this too, before I would uh, be able to sell that card that I did have. So I, I do think you're, you're going to see plenty of fluctuations this week. The out-of-packs icons and special cards are going to be fantastic to trade with. They really are. Even though this market is really scared right now, um, you're going to be able to get sales. Now, I would be a little bit more careful if you're on the Xbox. Make sure you get some pretty sick bids and undercuts. Uh, but especially on the PlayStation where you have fluctuations happening all the time, people are going to start to see these prices, I think. 
and buy some stuff up or try cards out because there's just not a lot to do right now and the market is just super duper duper low. So again, content wise this week, I'm expecting some of those coin suck SBCs like, you know, the little 83 times 10 and 85 times five. Um, maybe they re-release some sort of, I don't know if they would re-release a party bag, but that would be an obvious no brainer not to do a party bag SBC. Um, because of course that'd be a coin drain pre team of the season. Why would you do a party bag SBC right before team of the season when all those big cards <laughs> are going to come out? But you know, maybe another moments SBC like this Saul could be something that could come out this week as well, which would be interesting. And then maybe EA release like an 83 double upgrade one time, maybe even repeatable for a couple days. Who knows? Right. I really don't feel like it's going to be that crazy unless they would drop an icon moments upgrade. And I feel like that would have to be today on Monday if they were going to do it. So Kind of interesting week, right? Leading up, it's just all the hype is building for this TOTS promo that is coming on Friday. Of course, as we get closer and closer to it, we'll be monitoring the market. Still trying to make some coins though, right? I would love to get from 5.2 up to 6 million coins by the time we get to Friday. Having that extra 800K would be massive. So that's kind of my goal for this week is to try to make another you know, seven to 800K so that I can use those funds during team of the season to trade and also to have fun during this promo. One last thing I will say is if you're a hardcore pack grinder, you've got this 81 double upgrade that is out right now. If you really want to start doing this, you could stack these 81 double upgrades for community team of the season. The past couple of years, we've never had upgrade packs for community tots. I think that's going to be different this year uh, because we've had upgrade packs for almost every promo. Um, but I, I just wanted to throw that out there because I think that these rares are starting to rise up already. We had squad battle rewards tonight. Wow, Prem rares are over, they're 1.1 to 1.2K. That's crazy because people are already starting to invest for upgrade packs for the upcoming team of the season. So that's pretty crazy that we already have those cards and those prices all the way up there. But that is one thing that if you had some uh, rare golds that were obviously you know around 700 to 800 coins you could get, that's probably the cheapest right now then you might be able to craft some of those upgrade packs and have packs before everybody else starts and starts doing them or even if we don't get upgrade SPCs for Community Tots. So that's the video for today, boys, to be completely honest. I know a lot of you guys were wanting to know when to buy, and I think we kind of talked about that in yesterday's video. I think the buy time for a lot of this stuff um, was earlier this weekend for the high tier specifically. And then tonight for some of this low tier and the mid tier stuff is probably going to be some of the lowest prices that you see for the next two weeks until we get deeper into team of the season and people start using tots cards instead of those other specials. So that is the market outlook for this week. My dudes, if you did enjoy, smash your thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nathan Foot Account, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out. Okay.